I thank you for joining me. I'm going to be reading the Earth Class Notes, written by the Twelfth Apostle, entitled The Answer. Consider the following three points. During all of the years I've dealt with people, I've noticed an ongoing theme. Uh, number one, uh, people don't really believe it to be important in how they deal with others. If they did, their lives would be profoundly different and profoundly blessed. And number two, the vast majority of individuals actually do understand the principle of forgiveness. They simply choose not to. Number three, most have embraced the lovers of self mentality to such an extent that attempting to successfully deal with them is an exercise in futility. And I can understand even more about why the 12th Apostle emphasizes that our primary witness is to the heavenly host, especially now. The 12th Apostle writes, It is true that during the brief life of everyone who has ever witnessed for God, their greatest disappointment and hindrance has been their relationship with others. So, in getting right to the point, what is the answer? For every moment of your life here, visualize you being directly observed by the entire host of heaven and many times being observed by God and Jesus. This understanding easily overrides any difficulties you may have with others here. A person's primary attitude and actions in their relationships here presents a problem by being lovers of self more than anyone else, even to the extent of hating others who do not agree with them, uh, thinking that justifies their hate. It doesn't. Nothing justifies a sick infection of hate in the human soul that was created by God to be like God. What is the answer? Consider how many people and animals that have ever been born on altered earth in the past 6,000 years. Most all of that vast number of people have passed from the pain and limitations of their physical body, and this will be so pleasant there will be no real culture shock, only joy, happiness, peace, and love for all, forever. So remember the answer, and you will graduate from this life with the highest of honors.